What's going on guys? So I actually got a comment that asked about how to add the extra section on Anki cards. So I'll show you what that means right over here. But in this video, I'm gonna show you all about how to customize the Anki cards, add the extra section, and make sure you can make the most of your studying. So let's do it. All right, so before we begin, I wanna show you what your end product will look like by the end of this video. So this is how I make my cards. They're usually closed deletions, and um, I usually do something like, maybe I wanna talk about granulomatous with polyangitis, and I know it includes the nasopharynx, the lungs, and the kidneys. So I'll create a closed deletion that kind of has something like this. And then I'll also include a bunch of stuff in the extra column like this, that gives me the context behind why it is to, important to remember that, right? So first of all, that's kind of how I'll make my card. And basically once I make this card and I add it, um, and I'll just, I'll just add it now, what that does is create the card in the format that I just showed you. In the sense that now, when you look at this card, this is the first closed deletion. And what it does is blanks out Wegener's granulomatosis. So when I press you know, space bar and when I show the other side, it'll not only show the answer this time, but it'll also show me all the notes related to the answer. And that makes it really helpful because I can then um, put, the, put the answer in context, right? So now I'm gonna show you guys how to do this because I know for a lot of you, your closed deletions don't have an extra column. And we're gonna address how exactly you can get an extra column and how you can slowly add notes like this. Okay, so for most of you, your Anki looks like this. It's not as complicated. You just have this thing. And when you press add cards and you click on the type close, your, your Anki should look something like this. And we don't want this. We want to add an extra box and we also want to add the sources box. So I'm going to show you now how to do that. First thing that you're going to have to do is go to the fields. And in the field section, we're going to add two new fields. So the first field is going to be the extra, right? So that will be the first field. And the second field is going to be the source. So let's say you're, you're taking notes somewhere and you find a really great site. What you might want to do is include the source in one of your cards. So this will now add all three fields and this basically makes it a bit easier to add them to our close. So once we have done it here, we're going to go ahead and press close. Just go ahead and follow me very closely. And look at this. Now your cards have changed, but you're not done. You're not done. And so I want to make sure you address the fact that you're not done because the next thing you need to do is actually edit this. And I know this seems a little um, scary, but right now we actually have not implemented the changes. So the way to implement the changes is to press add field. And when you press add field, now we want to add the extra column to our card. And when you press it, it'll show up at the top. So what you actually want to do is you want to have the extra field be at the back of the card. So that's why I'm putting it under back and I'll put it right there. And um, now we also want to add another field, which is the sources. And again, it shows up in the front. And so now we want to add it to the back. Okay. And so now what you'll see is the back will not only show the extra, it'll also show the source. And this will really make it easier for you guys to now, when you actually do your cards, to have a format. Because now watch, is this working? Yes. And I'll make a closed deletion out of that. And in the extra column, I'll say prereq, you are a stud muffin, just to help my ego a little bit. And the source is my brain. Um, and, and so let's see if this works, okay? When I now press add, you will see that the card say, is this working? When I press spacebar, it press says yes. There's my note, that extra column, and the italicized part is my, my brain. Um, so this is actually super cool. If you really wanted to go, be super awesome and uh, change this up even more, what I would then do is do the, um, you can actually edit the font color. So I think you can even say um, color red, and then your, um, your extra column becomes red and that actually becomes a better way for you to see like if your changes have been implemented. So now your extra column is red and your sources is black. So now you know your answer will be blue, your extra will be red and your source will be black. So hopefully this very short video gave you guys an insight into how to add the extra column to your closed deletion cards. It is a huge time saver in terms of giving you a great way to organize your thoughts because now you not only have the closed deletion, the answer, you also have the entire context of where the answer is coming from and the source if you want it. So if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, comment, share, subscribe. It's a massive time saver for me, so I hope it saves time for you, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.